Hello and welcome back to another video of Randall's Monday. It's been a while since I uploaded Randall's Monday. Apparently it's the last part actually, I assume. This is day 6. I assume this is the last part of Randall's Monday. So yeah, I'm not sure what should I do now. It's been like 1 or 2 weeks. I've not touched Randall's Monday. Okay, let's see. I got a pen. What do I do next? Go back to the bleachers area and they will laugh at Randall? Bleachers area? What is that? Oh, I never went to this part. Wow. That's a lot of stuff. I better not. All remains. Ew. Gardening chest. This nothing seems to be. That's a padlock Matic 9000. Kind of an expensive padlock. Yeah, that's right. I know some stuff. <laughs> yeah, I need a key, isn't it? Wops, valve spot, and a faucet. And a dry pumpkin. That pumpkin looks like it's been there for a long time. Oh, I can take it. So there's supposed to be a lot of stuff that I can combine right now. I just don't know what. I don't think that. Fine. I can't take. Ah, wasps. My old arch enemies. I can't use the faucet as long as they're around. Wasps. What should I use to kill them? Apparently, I don't have anything right now. Friend Randy. Did you meet Boggs already? Did he show you his necromancy? <laughs> 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 no, he didn't show me his ash either. That fking asshole Matic played me. <laughs> oh, that spitting contest thing going. God, that fucking asshole Matic played me. Hey, shithead. He's one of us. Show some respect. One of you? You must be fucking kidding me. What did that chump ever do? Well, he used a quote from last week's movie to set up some poor idiot rookie. Dumb. <laughs> 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 so that's how you play, huh? Hey, look on the bright side, kid. At least you gave us all a big laugh. You bullshit salesman. This isn't over. Relax, buddy. It was just a joke. It was a prank. Oh, you're on my list now. Okay. You know where to find me, rookie. You better stay away from our new friend. Or a night with Bods in the laundry is gonna feel like a prom day compared to what we'll do to you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they just fluff together. No. And he didn't show me his ash neither. Oh yeah? Because a little bird told me you guys already became. Oh. What? <laughs> Yo, uh, annoying laughs. Oh, wait. Okay. <laughs> hey, I just got a little Charlie horse. I didn't even touch the guy. Do you hear that, guys? The rookie's fridge. <laughs> <laughs> what can I say? I'm not into that. This is laughing in hey, another rookie. kind of way. We was just kidding. We don't give a damn about Bob's or which side he butters his muffin. Hmm. How's that spitting contest thing going? Well, we're just waiting for the cook. The cook? Bruno, the cook. He's one of this year's favorites. Why do you call him the cook? Because he's the cook. <laughs> oh, okay. 
I thought that was just a nickname or something. So, uh, how's the food here? Is it as bad as they say? Here's a free tip before you get into any trouble. In here, you are worth nothing unless there's something you can do for people. Ah. You know, Sleazy, that guy can get you anything you need. My point is, if you have nothing to offer, then nobody will give a damn about your rookie ass. Ah. I see. I see. Bruno is the cook here, and if he finds out you've been bad mouthing his food, you don't get food. So be careful what you say. Who you say it to. Gotcha. Smart kid. For now, how about another try? Mm, I should spit again. I want to spit. Hey, knock yourself out, kid. Ah, that's something. <laughs> Is that it? Man, you just get worse every time. Motherfucker. I just don't know what I'm doing wrong. Hey, don't give up, rookie. No one is born an expert. If you knew the things I'd seen since I came here. Hey, remember that dude used to drink buttermilk to make his spit thicker? What was his name? That was Johnny. Johnny Knives. <laughs> That's it. That bastard managed to break a couple of records back in the day. Now what about Lester? That guy was a math genius. Why did he know how to use that to help him spit? Hold on. He used math to help him spit? Hey, rookie, spitting is not that simple, you know. Sometimes you gotta use your head a little. That guy even managed to use the Coriolis effect to his own benefit. And he managed to beat old Bradley's record. Yeah. <laughs> that really was supreme competition at its finest. So we had to find those fellas? Will the cat ball the pan and the walk on those slabs on the floor? Cat ball, pan and the walk, okay. It bounce off the stuff. Wow that's uh that's a 200 IQ right there. I didn't know the main objective right now was to spit. That's kinda stupid. Cat... Cat ball. What the hell are you doing? Yeah, what the hell? Putting objects on the floor is against competition rules. Would you mind showing me the spitting contest rules and regulations? Especially the part where it says it's forbidden to place any items on the floor. Wow, the man has a point there. <laughs> Whatever, kid. I don't think it's gonna be of any help considering your current abilities. Ah, okay. You think so? You're about to see something so magical that you don't know that what's gonna happen. I mean, really, I don't know what's gonna happen. I wanna spit. You knock yourself out, kid. Yeah, that loogie was pretty sweet, but you're still nowhere near the 63 foot 7 inch record set by the late Harry foot? Masterson. God rest his soul. Damn, Harry Masterson. <laughs> what? That's it? What's Harry Matheson? To succeed, you have to put them in this order. Put the walk on the first slab, the pan on the third, and the ball on the fifth. Oh. Oh, wow. Walk, walk, pan, ball. Okay. I mean, no one's gonna think about this kind of tactics. It's kind of stupid. I wanna spit. You knock yourself out, kid. <gasps> Whoa, man! Looks like you hit the top. 
target. Oh, come on. Ew. Did you just spit on my magazine? Gross, man. You mean his magazine? Hey, no, no, it's my magazine. I'm not done reading okay. it yet. The owner of the saliva is the owner of the magazine. And what? You know it. What logic oh, was that? Come on, you guys. Give the rookie the magazine. Um, thanks. Don't thank him. Rules are rules. Well, I didn't win a prize, but at least I managed to screw that shithead salesman over. <laughs> Revenge is a dish best served cold and with phlegm. Phlegm. Ew. There wasn't any rule to stop me from putting that there. I don't think there's one that forces me to pick it up either. Maybe I can distract Marie using magazine. Yeah. <laughs> what? Have you seen this article? Which one? Oh, wow, amazing! Uh, okay. I never thought a man would be able to do that. <laughs> That's real flexible. I gotta ask my yoga instructor. To yoga that. instructor. I knew you'd like it. Thanks, boy. Oh, you're welcome, Murray. I like helping the authorities. Yeah, helping the authorities. Now I can go to that place and. Oh, Mr. Thief is gonna knock him out, knock those three fellas out, like a pro. Listen, boss, I'm only gonna say this once. Get the hell out of here right now. I don't want to see your ugly mug around here for the rest of the day, or else. Or else what? This! Two things ah. never happened to that after that. The sisters never laid a finger on Randy again. Okay. Bob's never walked. <laughs> I transferred him to a minimum security hospital in the state. To my knowledge, he lived off the rest of his days drinking his food. Drinking his food. Ew. Wow. Harsh but effective. Remember, Rookie, don't fuck with me. Oh. You got it, man. Uh huh. Ah, uh, yeah. No problem. Thanks, man. That's a weird looking. Weird looking uncle. Good day, sir. What? Good day. Wood Bay? Never heard of it. <laughs> Wood Never Bay? mind. I uh, like uh, something about homemade explosives. Do you, have, do you by any chance have um, uh, any information about how to blow up a wall? I need to learn... I need to learn something about um, controlled explosives. I'd like... Um, <laughs> something about homemade explosives. Hoaxes? Gotta be careful with those. Virginity and humor are some of the first things guys lose in here. I suspect one directly influences the other. Um, <laughs> that's not it. I mean you know, no. to, you know uh, what does what does that mean, bombs. right? Sorry, kid. I never lend out my lip balm. Oh shit, this guy. Okay. Oh, I look. I think we got off on the wrong foot. My name is Randall Hicks. Nice library, by the way. Look, going back to the book. I'm looking for something very specific. Um, okay, look. I think we got off on the wrong foot. My name is Randall Hicks. Nice library, by the way. Oh, thank you. What? That's an unusual name. Candle Wicks? Hmm. I'm Brooks. Candle Wicks. He's Jake. Say hi, Jake. <laughs> oh. Nice crow. Jake, not Joe. He's a nice crow. You're on death row? <laughs> ah, shit. And I thought making explosives was gonna be the hard part. Loud fart. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sounds a bit. You think I need to go check my drawers? Yes. Uh, look, going back to the book, I'm looking for something very specific. Okay, what do you need? So he hear that. What the hell? Right, pay attention now. I want to make something explode. Got it? How the hell were you put in charge of the library? With my lips, I need some explosives. What a beautiful day we are having, huh? You're such a good librarian. You should ask for a promotion. You're such a good librarian. You should ask for a promotion. Explosion? Wanna learn about explosion? What do you what? Oh wait, hey, hey, yeah, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Explosions. Oh, I see. Uh 
Thank God, I thought, I thought we'd never make it. Eureka, I was this close on locking you out and just stealing the damn books. Wow, there you go. I was about to give up. So can you hear me then? By the way, what time is it? Is Am I gonna make... Like... Make no sense By the way, what time is it? Time to blow something up, right? <laughs> exactly! Very good, my friend. Tell me exactly what you're looking for. What? Maybe I can help you. Is there any books that tell you how to build a bomb? Is, there must be some, some books about explosives in here. They will be hidden out back out back. Oh, I always want to read about jo Johannes Brahms. Any books that explain how to demolish a reinforced concrete wall? Anything on the home TNT? Yeah, I'm gonna, it's gonna be this. Isn't it? I always wanted to read about Johannes Brahms. How to make bombs. <laughs> this book will show you how to put together some homemade explosives. In just That's just easy weird. Steps. All yours. Unbelievable. Thank you so much, Gramps. As soon as you show me your life. Oh, oh God damn it. Oh, shit. Really? Who's Willie? My name is Brooks. I'm sorry, but you need a card to borrow the books, huh? Right, Jake? Oh, come on, this can't be happening. Since when do you need a library card in prison? Thanks, kid. It's been ages since someone paid me a compliment, but I'm afraid I still need your card. Oh, this is just amazing. Don't worry, kid. You'll get it in a few days. A few days? Come on, Brooks. Do you really have to be that stern? A worm? Do you hear that, Cheek? You're hungry, aren't you? Oh, God, I give up. Come on, sir. I need that book. I'm sorry, kid. If you don't have a card, there's nothing I can do. It just wouldn't be right. Please, just make an exception. I'm new here, and the other guys aren't exactly making things easy for me. I'm sure you remember your first day, don't you? Come on, cut me some slack here just this one time. Please. I am lonely, and nobody wants to help me. Your words have touched this old man's heart. Well, you still need a car. Right. This place could be really tough. What do you think, Jake? Shall we give him the book? <laughs> Jake doesn't like you, so you can't have the book. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, come on. I thought you said I had touched your heart. Oh, yes. Jake is very smart. Come on, Brooks. Give me the book. I said no. Get out of here. Is there anything I can do with the bird? They had to kill the bird or something? Can't get it off with just my bare hands. Good job. Thanks to you, those freaks won't be bothering me anymore. And now I can get into the library. Thank you very much. Blah, 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 whatever. Just don't forget our deal, rookie. Oh, okay. Of course, man. 
You wanted the second season of Charmed on DVD, right? No play. <laughs> if I find out you escaped without me, I'm gonna be real pissed. As soon as I get out of here, I will come for you. And don't you forget it. I never forget about anything, so relax. Although something tells me you won't remember any of this tomorrow. Huh? No, no, nothing. Uh, I'll come find you when the tunnel is ready. Trust me. <laughs> I don't trust anyone. Well, that's a real shame. You really need to learn to trust people. Anyway, see you later. Bye. Oh, remember that guy who trapped in the bunks? Go to the cells area, bury him using the crowbar. From now on, he will be giving you packs of nicotine gum every morning to thank you. What? Oh. Almost died. You're safe now. <laughs> Dude, I don't know who you are, but thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, come on. It was nothing. Nothing? I almost died of suffocation. I owe you, man. Tell me, is there anything I can do for you? Anything, man. You smoke? No, thanks. I'm trying to quit. Is that so? I've tried a few times, but these little fuckers know how to get in my head. Listen, here's what we'll do. I'm the one who controls the traffic of nicotine gum in here. That's the only thing old Sleazy can't get by himself, so he has to get them from me. But if you need nicotine gum, you got it. Here, take them. They're yours now. By the way, I'm Carl, although everybody calls me Mr. Touchdown. Oh, and here's your first pack. Mm. Oh, thank you. I'm Randall, and uh, you don't have to do this. I just, uh... It's the least I can do after you save my life. In fact, you know what? From now on, you the only guy in here who gets nicotine gum. I'm gonna write it down in my diary. What? Seriously, I just was walking by and... I'll get a pack delivered to your cell every morning. Enjoy it, man. Wow, thanks. Oh, I'll also wow. make some delicious homemade liquor. It's right there in the sink. You wanna try some? Go ahead. I'm not really into homemade liquor. Believe me, buddy, you never tried anything like it. Next to this, Bruno tastes like rat puke. Although, now that I think of it, Bruno always has that rat puke aftertaste. Anyway, I'm telling you, my liquor is top quality, fermented to the strictest hygienic codes, and it tastes great. There are a lot of little fairies around here that say it's pure poison, just because it tastes like poison. But you just told me it tastes incredible. Yeah, like poison. <laughs> but that's just the flavor. If you want something to make you fly, there's nothing better. In fact, it's so damn good that I'm thinking about trademarking it and selling it to people on the outside. Have you thought of a name yet? Someone told me it reminded him of another drink called Grog. Really? Can your liquor melt metal? Well, a few guys have told me that it's left the occasional hole in the mud. Uh, yeah. Thought so. Yeah, then uh, call it Grog. I don't know. I haven't made my mind up yet. So tell me, is there anything else I can do for you? Uh. Well, hmm. Not really. Not right now, at least. Okay. See you around then. So I can take the bottle now? Yep. Now I can take the bottle and, uh, oh no, no runaway random. Uh, I can fill up that sink. Ah, uh, the sink is really oh. tiny. So how am I supposed to fill up the sink? It's the gum Carl gave. That's the bottle Carl had. Oh, yeah, 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 I can. If you find that logic. What? Great. Ah. I managed to cover the hole in the glass. I knew it. Now I can fill it up. And what do I do with that? Oh, give it to the lunch guy. Is it? Maybe. I am guessing. Excuse me. Hey! There's a huge guy. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, uh... Yep. Hey, I didn't see anybody. Hmm. Yeah, Must I didn't see imagination, anything, then. too. <laughs> what? Ugh. I think I've had it with this crap. Oh, my stomach. What's that pink liquid? It's for my stomach. 
Okay. This baby has saved my life more than once. Can I borrow it? Get out of here, rookie. What is this? Don't even think about it. Okay, okay. If you check it, check it on your inventory, you get a worm. Okay. A worm. It tasted a little like meat, but I think that was only because there was a freaking worm in it. Ew. The meat. Ew. Really, really ew. That's a worm, so what do I do with the worm? Put it in front of me. I don't think that. The kitchen? Oh, the crow! The crow, goddammit. So I don't need the library card? Thank you, Jake. So, uh, excuse me. So, can I now? Do you think the crow have may have changed his mind? Do you think the crow may have changed his mind? What do you think, Jake? Shall we give him the book? I think Jake likes you. Yeah, you can have the book. And remember, stay out of trouble. I absolutely will. Book like a some kind of exorcism nice book. I'll try. You're high. Uh, You're <laughs> high. Day. Oh wow. Uh, third slash fourth teaspoon of bismuth pink. Oh pink. The drink. Four cup of fertilizers. Oh, okay. Half a bowl of soap. Six cups of phosphorus and a half cup of cup, half cup of kitchen oil. Put all the ingredients together in a suitable container. Container. I just need a bar of soap. So if you'll excuse me, a bar of soap. Well, you certainly won't find any in there. There are no bars of soap in the shower room. What? No, we've had some problems in the past. <laughs> Is that why everyone stinks in here? I don't know. But there's only one place you could find one. The, the hole. hole. Oh my god, that's so repulsive. <laughs> the hole? Ah! <laughs> we are talking about someone's butt, right? It's Ew. been like into that, but it's actually part of the prison. Okay. It's where the worst of the worst wind up. It's the one place in here that has soap. How bad can it be? I need to see this hole. Can you help me with that? What? Could you use your influence to help me stand there? What can I do to be thrown in there? What can I do to be thrown in there? I told you, you'd have to do something really serious. Okay. But you know, this penitentiary has some very strict rules. I'm sure if you broke some of them, you'd get taken to the hole in the blink of an eye. You know, things like dealing in psychotropics, singing at night, violent behavior, walking around naked in restricted areas. But if you want my advice, Way better to stay out of trouble. All right, I'll be sure to keep. But that if in I mind. get into prison, Thanks I mean the information, the hole. I'll get you something nice. Can for I your like actually get out? Couldn't you use your influence to have me sent there? Why would anybody want to be sent to a place like that? I'm serious. Couldn't you at least just show me the place for one second? Trust me. You want to stay far away from that place. That seems like a very so I bad see place. we aren't really friends now, Murray, are we? Murray, you're ugly. Will that do? I know you don't mean it, kid. I'm fully aware of how attractive <laughs> I am. Oh, wow, oh, yes. Stupid sexy, Stupid sexy Murray. Murray. <laughs> the hole. They run around naked. That's what I heard.
sorry, my friend. Ouch! Oh. That wasn't very smart of you, kid. You just won yourself an all-expense-paid night in the hole. Okay. Most new fish come close to madness the first night. Somebody always breaks down crying. Happens every time. The only question is, who's it gonna be? That's Randolph one now. It's as good a thing to bet on as any, I guess. I had my money on Randy. Shut Hall. up, narrator. Okay, so this is the famous hole. Hmm. Okay. Step one, find a bar of soap. Step two, get the hell out of this stinky hole. Step three, get back home to old Marconi. Okay. God, I never thought I'd actually miss his stinky old ass. <laughs> Okay, pick a sponge. And, uh, what is this hole? Hmm, there's a hole in the hole. I'd say that there's something alive in there. Yep, yeah, I think you're gonna need something. What's it rated for? I'm not gonna feed whatever it is that lit. Uh, I'm not. Stick my tongue in it. Oh, no. Yeah, what should I do with that? Clean damn wall, really? Can I do other, other stuff? Oh! Hey! Looks like there's something written under all this filth. Hmm. It says, I haven't seen Berlin yet, from the ground or from the air, and I plan on doing both before the war is over. What? What does that mean? It's a Hello? Okay. Is someone there? Can you hear me? Hello? 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 Silence, prisoner! Enough with the yelling! Murray? Shut your trap! What's all this racket? I'm detecting a distinct strain of resentment in your voice, Murray. My sympathy for you disappeared the moment you broke that bottle over my head. Oh, come on, Murray. Don't be like that. It was just a one-time thing. It won't happen again, I swear. Of course not. The whole will make sure of that. I'm sorry? A little while in here will teach you to behave. What exactly do you mean by a little while? I mean a long time. What you did was very serious. The hole will teach you some manners. Murray, this place stinks. There's no room for cleaning in the hole. I see. And what do you think the Board of Health will think about that? Hmm, well, the hole, the hole. Are you just trying to scare me by saying the hole in every sentence? Don't you realize the trouble you're in? You're in the hole. Nothing will ever be the same again. People are thrown in the hole, and the hole psychologically destroys people. I told you to stay away from trouble. Okay, okay. I you know that I was that told that there's a bar of soap in here. You know, I was told there'd be a bar of soap in here. There's no soap? Oh boy, let me call housekeeping and have one brought down right away. Murray, I'm pretty sure you wouldn't exactly call this place big. Then I'm afraid you'll have to manage without the soap. That's what? how we do things in the hole. Oh, will you stop saying the hole all the time? Or at least give me the damn soap. I'm sorry. No soap for the prisoners who break bottles over my head. Oh, so that's what this is all about. Well, you know what? I would have expected this from anyone but you, Murray. The Murray I know and respect doesn't hold grudges. Ah. Well, I... <laughs> I'm very disappointed in you, young oh, man. Oh, he's a soft hearted hey, guy. Hey! Knock it off, prisoner! Damn, I was so close. Hey, Murray! I think someone left a weird message down here on the wall. You mean like, uh, some sort of secret message? Yeah, kind of. Um, it's signed by some Virgil Hiltz guy. Oh, hey, wasn't that the name of the guy Steve McQueen played in The Great Escape? Oh, that. Yeah, some time ago we had a prisoner who was totally obsessed with that movie. He was always getting into trouble on purpose, just so we would lock him up down here. And then, 
you would spend hours playing with that stupid ball. What a crackpot. And stupid what ball? became of him? Well, it looks like Sleazy managed to sneak him in a motorcycle. So, did he try and break out just like they did in the movie? Yeah, and just like in the movie, he ended up crashing his bike into the barbed wire fence. Oh my god. But unlike Steve McQueen, that guy didn't have any stuntmen. So it killed him. What a oh, great okay. story. I wish I had a ball too. Hmm, it would make all this a lot more bearable. Well, he left the ball here. You want it? Really? You'd do that for me? If it shuts you up for a while. Go on, here. Uh. Where's my soap? Where's my bar of soap? So what I do with this ball now? Really playing with the ball. God damn it. A few hours later. Oh my god. Oh. Hmm. Looks like they skimp on walls in this prison. I have no idea what's behind that wall. There could be some high voltage wires or something. I'm not risking it. Ball again? Oh my god. Making the wall crack. Should I keep continuing the ball? Yep. How many hours you can get in one day? Oh, okay. Ray, I just broke the wall. What is this? Nut. That's a rather big nut. <laughs> I can't. Losing it. How did losing it? Go back. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that's a rat. Oh, okay. Hey, look what we've got here. Looks like I just steam cooked my sneaky cellmate. <laughs> She's supposed to know what was about to happen. I took that bad rat. God damn it. There was a rat in the hole. I'm not gonna stick my hand in there. So what's the next thing? Put it on the Your friends will always remember you, but now rot. What? Okay. Forty. Eight hours later? How about the rinkers? Damn! Smells like rotten Damn. meat in here. And it wasn't me, I swear. Hey Murray, come here! I know you're still there! What now, prisoner? It reeks in here! This is inhumane! Come on, you gotta do something about this. I don't think it smells that bad. But here. Have some soap. Oh. Just rub it, you know where. I need to get a soap. Oh, that's not gonna do it. You have to get me out of here, Murray. Negative. The smell is a little unpleasant, I'll give you that. But this is not a spa, my friend. I'm afraid you'll just have to put up with it. God damn it! A steel trap, so you need to wet a sponge on a filthy bucket and then rub it all over the that slot in the door. Ew, ew, my god, ew. Randall Hicks, you sick mother of a god. Ow, 
How the sponge smells like dead rat. Yep, it is. Poochie fight. You just wait, Murray. You just wait. Murray! Come Ew. here, you gotta see this! Ew. What the? Oh, God, what the hell happened here? Man, what the hell is that stench? I told you, it's absolutely inhumane. I'm gonna get sick if you don't let me out already. All right, all right. I just didn't think, hey, get out of here, you stupid cat. Uh -oh. Hurry. I don't think I can take it anymore. All right, all right, I hear you. I think you've learned your lesson. Let's get you out of here. Hey. <laughs> okay, listen to me, prisoner. We won't be throwing you in there for the moment, but that doesn't change anything. I don't like your attitude, and I won't let you spend the days just wandering around. What do you mean, Murray? Here, problem cases like you have to contribute something. Bruno's in charge of the kitchen, Boggs is in charge of the laundry, and you... You're gonna be the new gardener. Oh, great. Wasn't there a more boring job? I want to be a guard on one of the watchtowers with a rifle or something. You will do what you are told, kid. All right. What the hell am I supposed to do? Well, first we need to know if we've got what it takes. Go to the field. There's some tools there. And here are some seeds. Go grow something. If tomorrow okay. we see that you've managed it, the job's yours. Tomorrow? Ah, uh, I'll try, but I don't know anything about growing plants outdoors. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Uh, it means I'll do my best. I don't want to disappoint you, Murray. Atta boy! You know Show that me you're mean. capable of growing something. Does you mean that you're doing permanent gardener. <laughs> I'll even give you the key to the tool Oh, chest. marijuana, sorry. All right, let's do this. So I have a key now. Whew, finally. I managed to get out of that filthy hole, and now I have one of the four ingredients I need to make the bomb. That tank Sleazy mentioned yesterday was going to come in handy, but I don't think they'll have it. Well, wouldn't hurt to check. Wait, do I have a key now? No, that's a box of seed. What? Box guy? Hey, what's up, Sleazy? Well, 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 if it isn't the rookie. I hear you spent your first night in the hole. Did you enjoy yourself? I bet you'd like to go back. No, trust me, I wouldn't. Listen, rookie, if I was you, I'd go hide in the deepest, darkest corner of this place and never come out. Listen, my friend, Randall Hicks is no coward. Well, the looks of you is telling me something else. What is that supposed to mean? It means be careful with the sisters. I hear they're kind of pissed at you. In fact, they want your head on the spike. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. Just kidding, rookie. No one wants your head. I was just messing with you. Oh, wait, but maybe it'd be a good idea to right stay now. away from certain individuals. Uh, thanks. By the way, there's something different about you. Different? What do you mean? Nothing's changed around here. So, I guess you're still good at getting stuff, right? You guessed correctly. What do you need? Well, I need a few things. Mall ears, rookie. What is it? There's a cookie oil, some matches, and some fertilizer. I know what's going on, you start smoking a hemp I need I some care. cooking oil, the, some uh, matches, and some fertilizer. Piece of cake. You'll have them all by tomorrow. Oh, never mind then. I'd forgotten all about that detail. Okay. Hey, I know what's going on. You've started smoking again, haven't you? Again? I never quit since I came here. What? And, uh, don't you think that's a disgusting habit? You should try nicotine gum. That's way healthier. It's a good idea, but I don't have any nicotine gum. It's the only thing I can't get, and it's so frustrating. I did quit smoking before I was put in here, but I couldn't deal with the pressure, and I ended up giving in again. Well, this might be a good moment to try quitting. What really bothers me is that I'd actually gotten used to the flavor of that gum. I'd even started liking it. Well, this must be your lucky day, my friend, because I might be able to get you some. Seriously? For sure. You were going to get me a tank, right? So now we're even. A tank? Okay. But you'll have to wait till tomorrow. That's okay. <laughs> I'm sure you could offer me something in exchange. Yeah, sure. 
Maybe he can give me the matches. Oh, yeah, he's he's using cigar uh cigarettes, so he might able to give a I just for remembered matches. I had a dentist appointment. That's good. Really? Rather you than me. I'm booked in for a massage. Massage. Yeah, right. Ah, I got big brain, big brain, nicotine, gummy, are you nicotine? I don't have it. Oh, I'll take it from that dude. Hey. Ah, crap. I think that damn can is just following me around. What the hell? Ah, you stupid cat. Will you leave me alone already? What the hell does does this cat want? It's annoying. He's slowing he's slowing me down. Ah god damn it. Okay. Sneezy, you have well, it. Well, here's your nicotine gum, just as promised. Hey, <laughs> awesome. Yep. I can offer you a cigarette and a match in exchange, deal? Deal. All right, here you go then. A cigarette and a match. A cigarette and a match. Thanks. Here's your gum. Maybe I'll have some more tomorrow. So I can get the box from this guy. Huh. Hey, you're new, aren't you? Me? No way. I've been here for a while now. I just prefer not to draw any attention to myself. That makes two of us. I'm Martin, by the way. Hello, Martin. Hey, Martin. I'm Randall. <laughs> Would you like to see a magic trick, Randall? You're gonna freak out. Um, uh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> Come on, man. You just have to give me something you don't need anymore, and I'll make it disappear. Why does it have to be something I don't need anymore? Because the magic box will dematerialize it forevermore. That sounds okay. like a pretty stupid magic trick. We won't know for sure until we try, right? Um, I don't have anything I want to get rid of. I always end up growing fond of my garbage. Oh, uh, I'm sure garbage. you must have some junk you don't need anymore. Uh, but anyway, if you don't want to enjoy the power of magic, that's your problem. Okay, then I'm just gonna get out of here. See ya. Hey, come on, wait! Don't be like that! Dude, what the hell do you want? You know, it's just that everybody ignores me. Nobody wants to enjoy my magic. Oh, I guess that's because you're not exactly David Copperfield. <laughs> yeah, oh, true. come on. Don't make me beg you. Please, I need to share my gift with the rest of the world. Sure. Okay. I just thought of something. Well, what if you give me something in exchange? Mm. After all, I'm going to lose one of my items forever if I let you do your stupid trick. So, you're saying that I have to give you something in exchange for letting you enjoy my amazing magic trick? Are you crazy? Yep. Okay, well, I have plenty of stuff to do, so me. if you'll excuse me. God damn it! Wait! <laughs> yes? All right, you win. I just don't know what I have to offer you, the box. Fred. Well, I can make the most out of almost anything. Okay. Oh, magic I'll medallion. give you my magic medallion. What do you think? Magic? Why is it magic? Where did you get that from? Well, it was lying around somewhere, and then... It suddenly appeared in my pocket. <laughs> Magic! I think you and I aren't as different as I first thought. Do you like burying people alive, <laughs> Oh, too? my God. Um, I take that back. So, you kill you? somebody. All right, when I find something I don't need, I'll bring it to you and you can give me your magic medallion. Better yet, you'll be totally amazed by some kick-ass magic trick, and then I'll give you my medallion. Uh, sure, whatever. By the way, do you know where I can get some oil, some fertilizers, or a bunch of matches? Do you know where I can get some oils, some fertilizer, or a bunch of matches? Um, I don't have any of those things. And if I did, I would make them disappear with my box. You know me. Actually, okay. no. But whatever. Anyway, I think you got it wrong, my friend. If you need someone to get you stuff, Sneezy is your man. I know, but I need that stuff like right now, and anything you ask Sleazy for won't be here till tomorrow. And I might never see that. How come? Are you kill, yourself? kill yourself or something? No, it's just that. Hey, why the hell am I still talking to you? Yep. Because you like me, and you just love magic. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I gotta go. I gotta go.
Okay, but remember, if you ever fancy being dazzled by the mysterious art of illusionism, you know where to find me. So what then? Are you a magician or are you an illusionist? Because it's not the same, you know that, right? I, uh, I think I like illusionist better. Okay, illusionist. I'm out. Murray, how about my key? Hey, uh, Murray, how's your head? Yeah, good one, kid. You think hitting guards is funny? Or you'll be spending a whole week and don't say I didn't warn you. The Sunday movie? Oh, yeah, I get it. And, uh, what cinematic masterpiece was that? You're unbelievable. After all the trouble you caused, you don't even remember the movie? Damn brain rotted <laughs> kids of today. Yeah, but you didn't answer my question. Uh, I can't remember. That one with the robot that goes around on his motorbike everywhere. Yep. Terminator? <laughs> yeah, that's right. Terminator 3. It was Terminator, 3. Terminator 3? And there wasn't a riot? Bah, people complained a little, but nothing compared to your reaction. You should have seen them when they saw Meet Joe Black a couple of years ago. We had some serious problems then. I'll just say that us guards weren't really prepared for it. We just weren't. What happened? Just imagine, screaming prisoners strangling each other. Blood all over the place. Okay. I even saw a guy jam a spoon in his eye. Here, you see things, things you'd wish you'd never see. Wow, Murray. I can imagine that already. you a tough guy, huh? Yeah. That's what happens when you have to spend the day surrounded by the worst of the worst. The dregs of society. Thieves, murderers, rapists, you know. This place really does change, people. Yeah, it sure does. I hope you're not mad at me, you know? The other prisoners made me do it. Do you know where I can get some cooking or a bunch of matches? Do you know why the hell this cat suddenly followed me around? Yeah, that's what, that's what I really want to know. Do you know why the hell this cat is suddenly following me around? Well, that's not a very good sign. What do you mean? You see, that cat has been around here for a few years now. And whenever he approaches someone, it's because that someone is about to die. Oh, come on. Somehow, that cat has the ability to smell death. What? It's true. You know, there used to be a death row here. And every time the cat approached a guy, he was the next one to be executed. Coincidence? Kind of spooky, right? Oh. But either that, or the warden had a very dark sense of humor. Okay then, just tell him to stop following me. Ah, I'm not in control of people's fate. And don't get too close to me from now on, okay? Great, just great. Just what I needed right now. Okay. Do you know where I can get some cooking oil or a bunch of matches? Oil? Matches? What the hell are you up to? Uh, nothing, nothing. Uh, don't you worry, Murray. I hope you're still not mad at me. Uh, you know, the other prisoners made me do it. Forget about it, kid. I'm a hothead. Yes, you uh, that. proved that to everyone. Who made you do it? I can't tell you that, Murray. You know the rule about snitches. I'd never make it through the day in one piece. I understand. Anyway, here's a tip. Don't let the others push you around, kid. If you don't stand up to them, they'll just keep coming at you. Next time they try something like that, just man up and face them. Okay. Nah, I'm more of a running and hiding type of guy. But thanks for the tip. Okay. Well, I'm out of here, Murray. See you around. Go. Get out of here. Morning, buddy. Hey. You're taking one too many liberties with me, rookie. Do you think you're one of the tough guys now just because you spent your first night in the hole? God, you just said morning. Yeah, fuck you, asshole. Oh, okay. Did you forget about our little conversation just before they threw me in the hole? Hey, I think I would remember something like that. Okay, I just want to make sure. So apparently that they still remember me. I mean, Randall, of course. After like so many days. Do you know where I can get some cooking oil, some fertilizer, or a bunch of matches? Get the hell out of here before I crack your head open with my uh with my uh oh. Where the hell's my crowbar? Uh oh. Don't ask me. Ah oh, shit. 
I gotta get myself a new crowbar. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> You're still here? I thought I made myself clear. I'm going, I'm going. Oh, okay. How about the backyard? How's it going? Hey, look, guys. It's Randy the Rookie. Come on, say hello to Randy. Hi, Randy. Hi, Randy. Hey, guys. We're just practicing. Sounds good. So, Randy, we hear you've been a naughty boy. Naughty boy. Oh, because of the whole incident? No, because you didn't eat up all your veggies. What? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's nothing, actually. I just told Murray to stay out of my way and he wouldn't listen to me. Yeah. You are tougher than we thought. Yeah, of course. Yeah? You should see me on the phone to customer service. Now that is a badass. Hey, that's our Randy. You want to spit with us? No thanks, but uh... I'm looking for some cooking oil, blah blah blah. Got any of those things? What's the point in spending the whole day spitting? I mean, you do you actually get any better by purchasing? Nah. I'm looking for some cooking oil, a bunch of matches, and some fertilizer. You guys got any of those things? What the hell is fertilizer? Oh um, my god. Well, how can I put Shit. this? Shit? Hey, are you calling us pigs or something? Uh uh. I would never. Oh. I think you came to the wrong place. I don't have to find Maybe fertilizer. I can use shit. Okay, I'll talk to him. What's the point in spending the whole day spitting? Did I just miss I mean, what they say? you actually get any better by practicing? You know, the only one that has any real chance of winning the big tournament is Bruno. So how come he's not practicing too? He's been real busy in the kitchen. He broke his helper's arm, so now he has twice as much work. Which makes him twice as angry. You betcha! Great. You sure you don't want to join us, Randy? No thanks, guys. Guys? I think you're scaring Randy. You don't want to play with us no more. Oh. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I gotta go. See you around. See you, rookie. Oh. Ah, okay, you have to give him the ball. Here you go, buddy. This will do, right? Sure, man. That'll do. Give it to me. Here. Now, I need to focus. The magic box works on magical mental energy. I thought you said you were an illusionist. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, an illusionist creates illusions. He doesn't use magic. I mean, well, you know, you don't. Look, do you want to see the trick or not? Sure, I can't wait. Then shut up and let me focus. Sorry. But you just kicked the ball. I saw you. Are you calling me a phony? Well, yes, of course I am. Okay, you got me. <laughs> what did you expect? Real magic? Uh, it's not that crazy, you know. I'm here because of a magic ring, so... Sure you are. <laughs> Monster. <coughs> hey, what have you heard about me? I'm just the magic box guy. What am I gonna know? Ah, anyway, I saw your stupid magic trick. Now give me that medallion. A deal is a deal. Here. Perfect. But now... Can I use it now? I'm not gonna put my... There's a lot of wops. That's a problem. Secret? Ah, uh, that... Oh, wait. I'm not gonna... Okay. Um... What else I can do?
go to the field in the yard to the left and take the empty sack and the dry leaves. Put the dry leaves in the fountain through the burn. Throw and burn them using the match. Oh, leaves. Oh, okay. Where's the sack? Sack. And now the burn them. That won't work. Wait, so I, so I had to put it where? Oh. I don't think that will. Wait, what did he say again? Hmm. I don't think that. Then what am I supposed to do with that? I don't think that will work. Get some leaves and secrets. That won't work. What? Oh, it's not lit up. Okay. Oh, the match. I use the match. That's it. Get out of here, you damn things, and don't come back. Okay. Um, now I put back a faucet. Now I can turn it on. Great, we got a nice stream of water. So, can I fill up water? That won't. That used to be Martin's medallion. Ooh, great. So, what am I going to do with it? That makes no fine. Take the rig and plow the field a little. Okay. Rig. I have to be a good gardener, isn't it? Wow. Well, I'm no expert, but I think I've done a pretty good job. Now for the next step. The seeds. Yep. Well, I hope something grows, but I'm not holding my breath. Mm. Now I put the damn holes, isn't it? I get the water running. Oh. Okay, okay. <clears throat> oh, this is a leak. God damn it. Okay. Oh, that's Let's enough. Let's hope this plan comes together. 24 hours later. Okay. I guess I'm marijuana. <laughs> Okay, the cat is still here. God damn it. Okay, let's see if I manage to grow something. Only in one day? Is that possible? Oh, the wops are back. And the crow is here. Oh, just what the? You goddamn <laughs> bird, get out of here! Ah, I'm gonna have to start all over. I am gonna tell Brooks on you. Or at least I'm gonna try. Oh. I told you, you just had to grow something, anything. So I'm sorry, but 
I'm afraid you don't have what it takes to be a gardener. It's that stupid bird. No excuses, prisoner. If the bird was bothering you, you should have done something about it. Gardening is unpredictable and dangerous. So come on, take care of this mess. Okay. So I need something. Uh, apparently I need this one here. Maybe a scarecrow. Hmm. I might be able to do something with this, but not that. Uh. Oh wait. I don't think that will. Do I have to combine? Oh, I gotta make a scarecrow. I have no. Yes. Um. Not a bad idea to spruce up the scarecrow, but it's still missing something. Missing something? Got a sack of stuff. Yep. And a prison uniform. Nice. <laughs> Perfectionist. So now I need some mat uh, dry leaves. And uh, redo that again. I do not have matches now. Shit. Yep. I will do that again, all over again. How can you smoke that filth? Your lungs must look like coal. Maybe, but yeah. you should try nicotine gum. It's way healthier. I'd like that, but you know nicotine gum's the only thing I can't get in here. Don't worry, I'll take care of that. And I only want a cigarette. Mm. Thanks. Here's your. Okay, now I got a mattress again, and let's do it. Another cigarette. Now I feel cigarettes together. Okay. I might have to come back every damn time. I don't like having to waste my phosphorus on this, but I guess I'll just have to find a way to get more. Faucet, come on. Probably plant. Oh, yeah, I plant something. God damn it. Okay, let's try this again. This time I'm gonna get something to grow. I'm sure of it. Okay. Let's hope this plan comes together. Okay, let's see if I manage to grow something. Uh, okay, so now I think that's the end of the episode. Uh, quite a long episode actually. I'm not sure how many I can get from this recording. Uh, so it's not the last part of the game yet. So maybe the next episode is going to be the last. Uh, it's going to be a long this is quite a long episode actually, it's like almost 10 episodes already, I think. Well, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Yeah, you guys subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment on anything you want. See you guys next time.